Hey netball fans, what a great game between Loughborough and Bath. Um, again, another one of those games where you think it could go either way. Quite confident all the way through maybe that it was going to be a Bath win just because they seem to just always be a little bit slicker, always a little bit tiny, always a little tiny bit ahead. Um, but you could never rule Loughborough out because they kept just chipping away. Um, so let's ha let's have a quick recap. This again, in my views, um, not anyone else's views, like them or don't listen, completely up to you. <laughs> um, so what did I think? So Loughborough, again, what we saw, again, we haven't seen them yet. What we saw from them was really short, sharp play. You could see them coming forward for the ball, um, trying to play it short. Did that play well for them? It did to start off with. It wasn't too bad to start off with. It worked. They were getting ball side um, and those passes were going down and going in. Bath as we've seen from Bath, we're really happy given the driving ball. So it was really clear, the best place to see it was on centre passes. Bath would do um, first phase, and then second phase would always be quite deep, and if it was, wasn't was fully deep, it would always hit circle edge generally by the second, sort of the third phase, the second pass after the receipt. Whereas Loughborough, the first one would land, and then they'd play quite a few, ten, generally laterally, um, and it'd just take a little bit longer to get to that circle edge position to get the ball in. Um, but still, you know, first quarter, 14-13 Bath, it could have gone either way. Lightly in defence were like more in a, um, a box position to start off with, trying to cover those 45 degree angles. So then they went off for quarter time and then we had um, them come back on court. Borger and um, Sophie Diel in the circle, that definitely needs a mention. Again, we saw it last time when they played against Celtic Dragons. They know each other really well. They work that circle brilliantly. I'd say it was even slicker today. So they were really maximising the space. Whenever Borger pulled out, Sophie Diel would run the line. Um, when Borger was in there, Sophie Diel would run the front and it was just textbook. And there were screens galore again, but this was now mixed in screens and moving around as well. Real tricky for um, Sam May and 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 Alice Harvey at the back, which saw later on the introduction of Audio Audio Brin. Sorry, nearly said it wrong. Um, and oh my goodness, she came on and did absolutely brilliantly, didn't she? Straight away, she was in the game. First interception, nice, you know, backing up, and she just caused a bit of a nuisance in there. And the difference was, is she was really tight, man on, so she wouldn't allow them to do the screens as much because she. She'd like sneak through the gaps of where they were trying to screen her. And when they did do screens, they switched perfectly and she consistently moved her feet to get around, putting some real pressure on that um, attack, which have been so far really uncontested. I mean, so far as in the last game they played wasn't as contested. Um, but Bath were pushing left for lightning really wide in their attack. So what was happening was is they were getting the ball wide off circle edge, trying to ping it in, and the defence again from Bath, I mean it's quite a defensive game, the defence from Bath again was outstanding, you saw um, Tash Pavelin run her feet quite often, they wouldn't necessarily always be tight on man on man on Cholhock, they'd run the space, when it looked open and the ball went in, they'd then run it and they'd get elevation and get that ball out there, it was really exciting, but with Odie O'Brien coming on, they pulled it back by that one and it became 25 all. So Loughborough Lightning took the second quarter by one goal. Exciting quarter. And then quarter three happened and we saw Yusuro Brown come on, Rachel Shaw come on. Um, and this really is the turning point. This was, it's like they say, it's the championship quarter and it really was. Bath took this quarter 13 to Loughborough Lightning's nine. And what you started to see happening was that Bath was smothering the Loughborough Lightning players in a, in. Um, attack. They were really sitting ball side and forcing them back and the Loughborough Lightning players didn't really respond too much to that. I don't know whether it was maybe a bit of tiredness or maybe just that they'd um, the defence had started to work out their, their dodges, their way of getting free. They weren't allowing them that, that front cut anymore. They were pushing them behind and you've got the elevation in that defence of um, Serena Guthrie at centre and Imogen Allison at wing defence, like that's really hard to get over. So sitting behind wasn't working for them and then they couldn't get that ball forwards and therefore there was lots of turnover. Um, I thought Liveridge struggled a little bit at goal as hack. She, don't get me wrong, I think she'll be amazing. But I think she um, she was in such a high quality game. She just struggled a little bit in terms of availability. I think she progressed throughout the game, but I think they were 
playing without her in parts. Um, and Chilhock obviously is your main shooter. She's always going to be because she's she's really tall. But what you really want from a goal attack as well is someone that will put those sharp shots up and nail them, especially in that mid range. And she just seemed a little bit tentative to do that at times. And you know what? She's young and that will come. And I have no doubts that she's got a fantastic career ahead of her. But did they miss Ella Clark? Yes, they did massively. So anyway, obviously great coaching from both sides. The Loughborough Lightning coaches obviously saw that they were struggling in attack, changed to take um, to put Hannah Williams on, took Hannah Joseph off a wing attack. Um, and I really like this player. She came on and did a great job. Um, and then later on in quarter four, she went to centre and did a great job. And I just think she just brought a little something a little bit different. She started brought a bit more braveness in terms of taking on those um defenders. And I think sometimes what we're seeing in this game, these games at the moment, is some of these coming on with without the fear of what they're coming up against. So, you know, sometimes you think of those big players and, and what you've got to try and battle through and you know how good they are and it's possibly a bit daunting. I might be wrong, but they, they seem to play with absolute no fear. So Odio Brin coming on, amazing. Hannah Williams coming on, amazing. Just bought a bit more five, started to come forwards for the ball, threw in, you know, started putting in some of those high balls, which you can put into Chilhock if the space is there. And I think because of the fact that the defence had done such a good job for Bath, some of the confidence had gone from the feeders. And just having someone fresh coming in who hasn't had those balls taken out of the air yet, she was putting them in with confidence. And that was really nice. Um, there were turnovers from Loughborough in quarter three. We still saw a lot of turnover from the back, just from errors from Bath, really. Um, and actually, a couple of times Bath's timing was out. There was a couple of timing issues every now and then for both teams. But they, Loughborough couldn't convert on those. They couldn't bring them through and they couldn't take them to goal. When Loughborough were moving quick without Bath being able to set up, especially in quarter two, it was really effective. But the minute they were slowed down and Bath managed to set up that defence, it, that's when they completely shut them down. So they really needed to capitalise on that speed of transition to get it through. Moving into quarter four, so obviously this is the point in time where Loughborough were four down. Into quarter four, we had um, Sam May come back on our wing defence, and that brought, to start off with, a real drive back through that mid-third. Um, Bath were getting hands to ball now, though, right at the beginning of this quarter. They were starting to um, stick their hands in on stuff. They were starting to sit off and run on stuff. I mean, they'd been running on stuff all game, but just a little bit more. Um, with three minutes in Hannah Williams and Hannah Williams went to centre and Hannah Joseph came off. Um, no, Hannah Williams went to centre and had Hannah Joseph, there's too many Hannahs, went to wing attack. Um, we saw Nat Panagari come off. And again, another good move. Just that change made a little bit more energy, a little bit more impact. And it actually gave Loughborough a couple of goals. Now, I don't think Nat Panagari had a bad game, so I don't think it was her coming off. It's just sometimes that change, something a little bit different, can give you, it, it can go either way. You've got to know your players, but it gave them just a little bit of advantage and they came back a little bit. And we finished with Bath 48 and Loughborough 44. So it was a 10 all quarter. Um, so four goals in it isn't much. Now there's there's things to look forward to that like things to think about when you're looking forward with this is you've got Ella Clark coming back for um Lightning. When she comes back, I think that's gonna make a huge impact. But then the flip side of that as well is that you've got um the likes of Oh, my brain's fried now, but you know who I mean. Leila Gusketh coming back at, in, in defence for Bath as well. Both not there. Who will have the bigger impact? I think looking at the defence of Bath and looking at the goal defences and the goalkeepers, the Summer Artmans, the Tash Pavelins, I think the bigger impact will be Ella Clark purely because Tash Pavelin played amazing. Um, and actually, you didn't you didn't think, oh, you know, they really need Leila Gusketh. Whereas I think they could have really done with Ella Clark. Not to say, again, that Sophie Liveridge didn't do a good job. And I think that she's definitely somebody that may well have taken to court. But they could have well done. They could have done with Ella Clark. Um, just just that key player, I think, even if it was just for, a, you know, a half or something like that. So the, the match up next time they play will be even more insane fantastic game i'm really glad that i watched that one next one coming up is uh i don't know i'll tell you later <laughs>